Hello and welcome to Coast Across. So I'm back again. Feels like I've done a lot of videos um, in the last week. That's because I've my, the school holidays have come for me. And being a teacher, that means I don't have to work anymore um, for six weeks anyway. Oh, well, I don't have to teach children. I should really do some work in between, as us teachers do. But um, I have done some more shopping. Um, this stuff has sort of been bought over the last couple of weeks. It's not all in, in one go, but I hadn't got around to doing a video. Um, it's a bit of a collection of different shops and these first two things I've got down here are from Tiger and I went there yesterday so these are quite recent but I just loved this little sloth isn't it? Is it sloth? Yeah, I think he's at Slow Loris but now they look different don't they? And this I guess is a traveller's notebook but it's a really nice little notebook. Got the cover I really like, really soft and with this lovely sloth on it and then you open up and the first one's kind of this pocket. I don't know what I put in there, but I think of something. And then there's kind of a ruled notebook. Um, and then you can see that's on one elastic. And then there's a grid paper one, which is nice. And then there's a little pocket here where you can put other bits. And you can see how that's all all joined up there just like Travis notebook so that's only three pounds in tiger and i think it's just really lovely i don't know what i put in it because i never know what i put in notebooks really um but i just really liked it so i will think of something and to go along with that another fairly pointless purchase but really cute with these um pencils with all these sloths on it so they had llamas and they had some other creature what else could it be can't think what the other creature was but anyway, they were all three of them were very cute, but I went for the sloth because that appealed to me. And this is a tin of pencils. It was a pound, I think, from Tiger. And I don't really need pencils, but <laughs> I do use pencils. You know, if you need to mark a line or something before you cut it, they do have their uses. Um, I don't really need a whole tin full of pencils, but aren't they cute? And the tin, I just love the tin. And on the top is a pencil sharpener, and I'm always looking for a pencil sharpener even though I have lots of pencil sharpness. Um, so I just like that. It's kind of an unnecessary purchase, but it's really cute and I like the colour. So two unnecessary purchases, but I like them very much and they're only four pounds for the two. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. Another unnecessary purchase, just <laughs> to carry on from there, went to Primark and I love my Pusheen, as you probably noticed, because I'm a bit of a cat lover. And this is a Pusheen... Um, pen, little biro pen, reduced to a pound, it was two pounds, with a pointless little furry green pom-pom on the top. So all I'm going to use this for is to most likely write in my diary journal thing, where I just write what I've been up to when I get around to it. Um, so yeah, completely unnecessary, but I'll find that very cute. And a pound, I can justify that. So love it, but totally random um then on to some other things so you might like those things um who knows some other random things whilst we're at it i was in um wilco today and picked up this keep it nice and tidy they've got those of these lovely containers that are this material what would you call that perspex or something like that does it tell you on here it doesn't tell you who knows? But anyway, um, yeah, I really like this material. They had some nice ones that would be really good for putting my stamps and things in. But I was, um, I had to need to go back and work out whether they, you know, what the right size was that I needed by measuring my stamps up. So I got this one. The idea with this one is, um, oh, hello, turn my light off. What's I was doing that? Don't know if it's better on or off. Who knows? Um, just to put little die cut images and things because they keep getting everywhere, and it's got this grippy bit at the bottom which you know could be useful to you there are loads of different sizes that's only one pound fifty so yeah like that um got lots of other things that we're picking up but i will show you this online haul so i've showed these before these are the alternate large storage pouches um didn't really know what i was getting last time i think i bought 10 um and turned out hang on a second turned out that I really liked them so these big ones to fit in the big stamp sets that you can get well that's what I went for they do it in other sizes but the big stamp set is 6.75 times 9.375 inches 
seems like a very random size, but basically it is the size to fit the larger Alta New stamp sets. And you know I love Alta New stamp sets, but also fits other brands also do larger ones. And I had some stamp sets that um, needed some more of these pockets. And it was eleven ninety nine from craftstash.co.uk to get 25 which obviously isn't cheap for stamp pockets, but there's just saying about them that I really like, the fact that they're so strong and their zip pocket and they're the perfect size. So I bought the 25 pack for 11 99 or you could get 10 for, I think they were 6 99 on Craft Stash or I've seen them 5 99 on Dies to Die For. And so it's a better deal to get more and I thought this will last me for, oh, look at those horrible nails that have come off whilst I was washing the car. Um, these will last me a long time and it's just exciting sometimes, isn't it, to put your stuff into new storage pockets. Look, also if it's Concord 9th, I just love them. It's um, to go with the other stamp pockets I use, which are these um, Avery L ones. Let's just grab one to show you. So these ones are about £10, these really... Um, they're like sturdier pockets. £10 for 50 So that's what I use for most of my stamp sets. But for these bigger ones, I've just splashed out and got these ones because I love them so much. Amazing how I can say that much about stamp storage. But there we go. On the line of storage, I got another one of these. This is another purchase I've previously had. Um, the Spectrum Noir um pen organizer so it doesn't have to be for spectrum noir because it does all the different kinds of pens which is what i've used so i've already got one of these and it's already got all my pens in it but it turns out that i have more pens um than 72 which is how many it holds and you might think well how do you need why would you need more than 72 pens and i don't have the answer to that question because i just seem to own a lot and I guess it's just not having any self-control. But now I have enough storage to put them all in. And this is about £15.99 from craftstash.co.uk. I got it for a similar price from Amazon before. But it's now more on Amazon. So, yeah, I'm happy with these. And if it opens up, I'll quickly show you what they look like. Oh, no, it's knocked it. So it's lots of these stacking plastic things. And they should just fit on top of the ones that I've already got. So I'll be able to carry on stacking it up a bit more yeah it says it fits 72 pens I'm not gonna have any more than 72 now that's that's got to be enough if I get any more I've got to just get rid of them I've decided shouldn't get any more um so those two were from craft stash what else have I got so another sort of random it's very random this all random purchase was this I was in Lidl and being a keen shopper I love to look down the middle aisles of Lidl um, and it had this sort of chamois cloth, um, which is all lovely and quite big. So I've cut a bit off already, as you can see. So the reason I got this was to be like a stamp chamois. And it's the same sort of colour as well. It reminded me of the Lawn Vaughan one. Um, and it's one of those ones that when it's wet or damp, like it is in this container, it's all soft and floppy and perfect for cleaning stuff. But when it dries out, it goes hard. This is one that I've been using lately and you can see it gets all marked up obviously with all the different ink and stuff but that doesn't stop it working in any way um, and I've managed to get one whole one of these I think I get about four I don't know I, I can cut it up into smaller pieces obviously because smaller pieces are easier to work with and the moment it's damp because I wet it to do some crafting earlier but I leave it on my desk and it dries out and then you know the next day when I want to use it I just run it under the tap again so for about I can't remember what it was, 250 or something. Yeah, I would totally recommend that from Lidl. I love I love the colour. They also had, I think, like pink or something maybe. Can't remember what the other colour was. But it comes in this container that does keep it airtight if you're not lazy like me and you don't want to just leave it hanging around. Works really well. I'm trying to be more environmentally conscious and using less baby wipes. So I'll move on to some other bits and pieces. i move that one out of the way. Um, I've been wanting this one for a while. Okay, this one came from America from on Amazon. I can't remember how much it was, about six pounds maybe. But it's the oops, hello. The doodle bog down on the farm. Um, not a new set, but because I come from a farming family, I really wanted it. Doodle bug's not that easy to buy in the UK. But and I thought, oh, let's try doing it where you order from America when I'm in England and see how long it takes to arrive 
and I think it was a couple of weeks so as I don't desperately need any crafting items love little chickies that's absolutely reasonable amount of time love a bit of wood grain as well and sheep my mum loves sheep <laughs> cute so yeah and then it all repeats obviously so like that one and I have to brave actually using it because I just love the doodle bug stuff pick that one up um, other paper pads I was in Hobbycraft they had Chamel Glitter Girl for £2 and I couldn't resist it this one's got more sheets it's 36 sheets I've already used one sheet but it matches up with all the other stuff I was buying in the Hobbycraft sale the stickers and the die cuts uh, yeah I think I just bought stickers and die cuts it's quite cute it's not necessarily something that I would buy full price but definitely something that I would use got loads of paper so it's definitely something also that I do not need but I now own how cute is that anyway two pounds <laughs> there we go what more can you say um I bought this from TK Maxx this was 1.99 this is was 10 sheets of printed tissue paper and actually bought it to wrap my friend's birthday presents I've already wrapped hers using a couple of the sheets and given it to her but how cute, little unicorns. So it was one ninety nine for the 10 sheets. And actually, you know, you get quite a lot in 10 sheets of tissue paper. So now I'm thinking I might, I might branch out another ones because I do like to wrap parcels in tissue paper. So that was that. Um, then in the good old Poundland, I bought a pack of four, that's four, of these really cute rainbow pockets. I don't really need any pockets. These were obviously a pound a pound land, but I just love that print. So I will store things like die cuts and stuff like that in there. So I will use them for something. And maybe one will sort of go back and forth from school carrying bits and pieces, but they're quite cute. They've got a whole range of this stuff in this pretty sort of colour scheme. I've already seen highlighters I want for when I go back to school. Um, and I picked up another pack of this double-sided adhesive because what I like about these, I've already opened it and started using it, is that these ones are really narrow foam. And quite often I find, although there's a lot of benefit to having the chunky foam, like if you're doing shaker cards, if you just want it to pop up a little bit, actually it's quite useful to have the, the cheap thin one. So there we go. That's good old Poundland under my belt. Um... Just have a quick look and see. I did another quick order with um, Clearly Besotted because I don't have any willpower, I guess. So you get it in this cute package. I'm really liking Clearly Besotted. Can't wait till they do their next release. So exciting. Um, so I went back. This was in the sale. I think about £2.50 for these cute cups. And I got the matching dyes. So a cup of tea solves everything. I don't drink tea, but I've come to realise I should just you know go for stuff that I can use with other people what's it called use for other people my cup of tea it's called it's in the sales section and I made this card I just like the fact that I've got the matching dies for about like £1.98 the dies were or something like that and then £2.50 for the stamps lovely quality stamps so all good so I made that little card it's cute going for a bit of a blue and white theme I can't think what the what's that china called that's called blue and white gone from my mind and then I got this set because this was also in the um clearance section for about I think two pounds fifty when they're small sets and it's colour layering on the flowers called with love uh let's just see what I made the little bits and the little bits I made with those here we go these two so I made a couple of little tags can't see it as well because I put so much glossy accent on that one um, there we go I still like that tag and um, you can see it a bit better quite like that just really simple I know it's small and it's meant as like condolences one but um, for little tags and things it's a really cute little flower couldn't get the dies search for them couldn't get them um, and then I already bought this one I showed you this in the sale and I managed to work out the dies were from the fruitful die collection so I was thinking oh, I can't get the dies to these and then I found the dies which was very exciting for me not in the sale section but I just liked the fruit have I got some that I've cut out got some little fruit 
is why I need that pot to put all my die cuts because I know I die cut some and then I can't think what I did with them. Anyway, there's one of the apples. Obviously, the cutest one is the cherries. But that's what I loved about it. They're the ones that stamp out like this. But I've got the, now I've got the dies for those cherries, a little apple, red apple. What else can you do? A little pear, a little pear. Anyway, lovely. So they were all from the clearly besotted stuff. So shove that out of the way. Um, also, talking clearly besotted, made this card with that set that I showed you before that wasn't in the sale, but I just really liked that bait with love. So I turned it into a background. I'll just show you that one whilst we're at it. And it looks really like paper, actually. I say that for my own work. I've done such a good job. Um, but yeah, I love that. I love how it's got little hearts in it. I love it. I made it, but I still like it. So that's that. And then talking about things that I bought before, to show you. I showed you this stamp last time. And that's what I turned it into. So cute little background of all those hearts. You so to make my heart pop. Cute. <laughs> That's another card I've made. Or some showing cards. Let's just show you more. That was with that Avery Else set I bought not too long ago. Anyway, um, I also did a purchase from Seven Hills Crafts. I've been wanting this set for ages. The MFTs. It's not a new one. MFT, what's it called? Martini Time or something? Martini Time. So it makes all these different drinks. But now I really want the die set. So that's kind of almost annoying me now. Oh look, that's what I did with those die cuts of the cherries. Love it, I made this Let's Get Tipsy card using the stamps and that one. I forgot that. That's kind of cool, except for the fact that um, a bit went wrong here. So I don't know if I can ever give that to anybody. And this one, using those stamps, I just don't like the way I fussy cut it. So I want the dies. You're the vodka to my martini. I mean, it doesn't mean anything really, does it, other than you drink too much. But there we go, probably give that to somebody if I smartened it up. Um, I also bought this paper pad, which was in the sale, but only 95p off. But mainly because it's New York themed and I just couldn't resist anything New York still at the moment. What's it called? Passport, my Cartabella. So by New York, it's got flying and stuff, which is good for travelling. But then it's got like the yellow taxis. And a map of America, and we're going to go to America again next year, hopefully. Um, bigger one of America. That's the one that I really like. It's got like Manhattan and New York. <laughs> just, I just want like a full page of that now, a 12 by 12 page. So yeah, kind of unnecessary sort of purchase, like five pounds for that. But it's only because it was New York that, um, that I had to get it. My willpower went. And the last thing I got, I showed you these before that I bought these stamps. And I said that I really wanted the dies. Hooray! I managed to get the dies when they came in. Can't remember how much they were. I think they're about five pounds or something. So just because those flowers are really cute. And that's them on a tag. Cut out all nicely with the dies. It does make a difference, doesn't it, to have the dies? I was always like trying to resist buying them before because they just it makes a difference on the amount of money you spend. But I just I like it especially on that kind of shapes. Um, hopefully that's pretty much nearing the end, the things that I bought. So the last thing I'm going to show you is probably not of interest to many people, um, especially not in England, but I bought a selection of baseball Jolie's Boutique stickers. All these came together in a little pack for about £2.50 from eBay, from an eBay seller, and they're baseball, just for the few photos I have from when we went to the Yankee Stadium. But that's like 3D, I like that. Any American people watching will, will know, you know, actually what the rules are to baseball. Whereas, who knows? I know that's not Jolie's Boutique, but there. Oh, I'm okay with it. And that one, look, check out that ball. That's all chunky. I haven't got a clue really how to play baseball. My sort of baseball experience comes from watching that film, like Naked Gun 2, many years ago. It was like, kept saying strike, and then we used to play it out in the garden for fun. And some more baseballs. So yeah, that's why I got those, mainly for those few stickers and that page. And that, I believe, is all the um, combined purchases that I have made, hopefully. 
I'm looking around hoping I've not spent more money um, over the last few weeks and yet yeah, I'm on holiday so from school so do expect more videos I'm afraid sorry bye